What's going on, man? Why are you running? Uh, huh? Uh, Why are you running, dude? Stop this vehicle. Yeah, it's got a busted out tail light here. We'll just advise him of the violation. See if we can get it fixed. Following 9 3. 10 8 p.m. 26. Wellington 11 or Wellington 12 10 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 8 Yep. So is this your current address? Where are you coming from? Yes. Where are you heading to now? Huh? Where are you heading to now? Well, I was going to go to the store back there and get a pack of cigarettes, so they were closed, so I was coming up here. Where are you coming from? I'm looking huh? for my girlfriend's house. Where, you Where am from? I coming from? Yeah. Coming from a friend of hers. Friend of hers? Okay. I'll be with you in a second, all right? Your license valid? You don't have any ID in that purse? Here, come on out here. Ow. What's in that bottle? What? Huh? In the bottle there. Oh, we just got that. I just bought it at King's. You just bought it? Yeah. OK. Go ahead and grab your purse. Huh? Grab your purse out of there. Here, go ahead and look for the ID. You got to have some ID on you. Hold up, wait a second. You cannot be sitting here stopping us for a seatbelt, okay? I'm not. Like, okay, okay, you're a passenger in a vehicle. Your violation is a seatbelt. That's what I'm explaining to you. Well, what do you do? That's bad. I have... Go ahead and empty it out. No, I have my ID, but I don't think I should have to show you for a seatbelt. You have to show me. You don't want to show me? I have rights. You do? do you? Are you going to show me your identification? I'm looking for my girl. Yeah, but I'm looking for my girlfriend's house, and I shouldn't. Are you going to show me your identification? Right. What if I don't? What if you don't? I'm asking you. I'm in a very bad mood. <laughs> Richard, why don't you step out of the vehicle? Just step out of the vehicle for me, okay? Just stand back here. You all right? I have a bad knee. Okay. The reason I stopped you is your tail light's broken out there. Oh, it, the car got wrecked. A school bus hit it. It's going okay, it's still garage. a violation. It needs to be fixed. I know. Okay, that's why I stopped you. I'm waiting on She's Palm not, Beach she County. She doesn't have her seatbelt. That's her violation. Hold on, hold on. I'm okay. waiting on Palm Beach County yep. to cut a check to fix the car. Well, you can always get it fixed and have them reimburse you. I don't have that kind of money. I live on a disability income. I understand that, sir. The uh, taillight needs to be fixed. I'll fix it. Okay. Is your license valid, you said? Yes, it's valid. Okay. It's valid to the year 2003. I got hit by a school bus sitting at a stoplight. I got no money. Okay. So, Kevin, okay, I'm just going to search under the seats there and make sure she didn't put anything. So I won't buy you. If you want, I'll take her out of the car. What's her name? Critter. Critter? What's up, Critter? Code code dirty, code four. There's no evidence. Four five nine. This yours? Hmm? No. <coughs> Whose is it? Uh, Did you see her put this in the uh, the door? No. Was this in the car before she got in the car? Not that I know. And this is your car? It's my sister's car. I drive it. You drive it? You're the only one who drives it? Yeah. So as far as you know, this was not in the car when she got in the car? Not that I know of. Not that you know of. Okay. I didn't know she's doing anything. You don't know what she has? Huh? You don't know what she has or she, if she bought when, it? Uh, when we left this guy, this guy's house, she said she wanted to go to some girlfriend's house. Yep. I told her no, I was going home. And then she said she needed cigarettes before we went home. 
so I turned up to get cigarettes. I'm not going to get you to be completely truthful with me, with me, am I? If she was going to get cocaine, she hadn't gotten it yet. She's supposed to go into Columbia Hospital in the morning. Okay. Because she's got bipolar or something, and then she's supposed to do some rehab thing. She's just staying with me because her husband kicked her out, and I was just helping her out. And that's it. That's the truth. This is your crack pipe. Huh? This is your crack pipe. No, it's not mine. Yeah. What is it? Hmm? What is that? It's not mine. It's not yours? No. That's not what he's telling me. What? Hmm? That's not mine. He's saying this is your pouch. Yeah, my friend was using it. Your friend was using it and gave it to you? Yeah. And where, what did you do with it? I was putting it in the door. She told me to put it in the door. So I when? Yesterday. And you didn't look inside there? No, I thought it was just tissue box. Okay, yes. he said it wasn't in there today. When you got in the car, before you got in the car, this wasn't in his, in his pouch. Yeah, it was. No, this wasn't in the door thing. Yeah, it was. He said it wasn't. It's his car. He said it wasn't. Rick, but it was in the car since yesterday. No, actually today when Rachel was in the car. Okay. I had Rachel in the car. All right. Okay. Just wait here for me, all right? <laughs> supposed to go to the hospital for rehab tomorrow right. for depression or something, so. Figure, let her go tonight. Hopefully she'll get rehabbed in the uh, hospital tomorrow and we won't see her again. Sounds good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull this guy over. Um, he doesn't have a license plate light on his license plate, and I can barely, barely read it. So we're gonna find out what's up with him. Hey, partner. How's it going, man? How you doing, man? But my house is right there. I'm going home. Oh, is it? Yeah. The reason I pulled you over is because you don't have a license plate light on your license yeah, plate. And I can works, barely, barely read it. Oh, come on. And it's all crumpled up. No, I'm telling you. I've been unloading dirt. Do you get a driver's license? No, I don't have a driver's license. I'm about ready to get my driver's license. And I got the paperwork in my house right there to prove it. So, so what is it? Suspended or expired no, it's, or it's, what? It's been expired or whatever. Or okay. not, it was... set, set your coffee cup down right there on the dash. Is there any dope in the car? No, I just my knife on my side. Knife on your side. Why don't you can step out? out? Yeah, step out of the car for me real quick. No, don't, don't don't grab no, no, for turn around. I'm sorry, turn I'm sorry. around. Come on, turn I'm around. Gonna... Turn around. This way? No, the way for me. What do you mean? I'm not Put gonna... your hands on top of your head for All me. Right, man. On top sorry, of your man. head. What? On top of your head. Interlace your fingers. Come on, man. Separate it's your legs out. Separate your legs out. Okay, just relax. I'm gonna grab that knife, okay? Yeah, that's cool. Come on. I wasn't gonna grab it. Come on, take it easy. Take it easy. What are you, I mean, I'm not I doing nothing to you, brother. This is unnecessary. I wasn't even doing nothing wrong. Okay, I'll tell you what. Just, just for my safety right now, okay? You're not under arrest yet. Uh, yet? What do you mean yet? Relax. What are you talking about, dude? Okay. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Well, you're driving without a license, okay, dude? That's a misdemeanor. All right. Come back over here. I want you to have a seat right here on the curb. What are you doing, man? What am I doing? The little boy's right over across the street, probably watching all this. Huh? Oh. Got any more speed on you? No, that's it, man. That's it? Come on over here. Come on. Is there any dope in the car? No. He's doing absolutely nothing wrong. I'm coming home from work. Look at your license plate right there. It's just a little dirty from working. I mean, that's it, man. That's it? I'm just a little dirty from working? Yeah, come on. You know? We're going to be doing nothing wrong. You know it, man. OK, have a seat right here in the curb, all right? right? But that's cool. You know, I've been, I've just been taking care of all my stuff, my all my court stuff. And I, if, if anything does come Three, up, I got all the paperwork one. inside to, to show you. But it, yeah, it should come up clean, man. Down. Three, Paul, 60. I've been trying to get my driver's license. I haven't had a driver's license for 10 years. And, I, and I, the past year, I've been taking care of all my warrants and stuff and everything like that, working on getting my license. What, what, you got, what are you going to yell, dude? I can hear oh, you. I'm sorry. I'm just used to stealing. And, uh, all I, I got to do, I got the, the abstracts in the house. All I have to do is find a time to go to the DMV and stuff and take the test and get my license. You is know this what I mean? your truck? Yeah, it's, yeah. 
I'm just coming home from work, brother. All right. You know, gee, look, you, you can stay right there, right? Friend. So far, we got a little bit of weed. There might be some more meth in here. That's not very much that he's got in his pocket, so either he recently used and used up what he had, or he's got some more stashed in here. Kind of kind of took us a little bit to get him behind him and get him pulled over, and he could have had time to, uh, to get rid of it. It's kind of interesting that uh, you notice he's wearing a, a D.A.R.E. shirt, D.A.R.E. to keep kids off drugs. Here he is, he's carrying dope on him. He's totally sending the wrong message to his kids. Can you take me to jail? Hey, Fred, go ahead and stand up for me for a second, oh, okay? Oh, you take me to jail? All right, all right, hold on. All right. Okay. We're gonna go back here, I'm gonna put you in the car back here, okay? Oh, man, you guys. Hey, Sarge. Just got a little bit, a little bit of dope, and I want to finish my vehicle search on him real quick, so. Are oh, you can take me to jail? Oh, man, are we gonna do nothing wrong? Do you dope I don't know. This is crazy. What? What? Do you have any dope in your pot? In your uh, no. in your socks, there, Fred? No. Come on, man. Okay. Let's go now. Seat right, partner. Watch your head. All right. I got it. Hey, Fred. Yes, sir. I got. I got to ask you a couple questions, okay? Yes, sir. Um, first off, let me read your rights, okay? You have the right, to, okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney before and during questioning. You understand those rights? Yeah. Well, let me let me ask you right now, Fred. I, First thing I noticed right there is you're wearing a dare shirt. Just a hand-me-down shirt somebody gave me, man. It's just a work shirt. Just a work shirt? Well, I mean, I know what you mean, though, and I don't, I don't, I don't promote the use of drugs. Believe me, I'm great. Well, then what's what's with the drugs in your car, bro? I'm a bricklayer. I, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know. How long have you been using dope? A few years, you know. I'm trying to to quit. And that's no excuse. Absolutely no excuse. And I don't think it is. You know what I mean? And I think it's great that you guys do all that stuff. I really do. You know what I mean? I to speak truthfully, I do. And I don't wish that on nobody. All right, Fred. How you doing, sir? Doing, I'm Deputy Cam, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. How you doing? The reason I stopped you is because your headlight's out. Oh, is it? Yes, sir. Do you have a driver's license on you? That's uh, fine. Where are you headed to? Right down the street. Your home or yeah, what? At the house. Where's that at? Right down, uh... What's the street now? 1485. 1485, all right. Okay. You got insurance on the vehicle? Uh, yes, sir. Where are you coming from? Sir? Where are you coming from? Uh, right down the road. Where's that hat? Huh? A friend's house. Okay. Yeah. You got a driver's license? I ain't got a driver's license. Sure. Let me see your ID. You're acting a little nervous. You got anything in the view behind you know about? Guns, knives, drugs, grenade, grenade launchers, anything like that? Be honest with me. Let me see your right hand. OK. You got anything in the vehicle? Be honest with me, man. Huh? Be honest. Huh? You got a pipe on The pipe? All right, step out of the vehicle. Just leave it there. You step out of the vehicle. There you go. Go to the front of my patrol car for me. Front, front of my patrol car. Put your hands on that grill right there for me. Spread your feet. You got anything on you that's going to cut me, poke me, stick me, stab me? No. All right. All right, what do you got in there, man? Just the pipe? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. 84, 33, All right. Um, go ahead and put you in cuffs for right now while I search through your vehicle, okay? All right, turn around for me. There you go. Just for now, all right? All right. Put your hands behind your back. What else you got in there? Huh? Nothing else. That's it? What's in the pipe? Huh? Huh? Okay. Repaul 1019 one my number. There you go. Just back up for me. Chill out, man. Just go we'll search your vehicle and go from there, all right?
What's going on, man? Why are you running? Uh, huh? Uh, Why are you running, dude? Uh, 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 did you just use or what? No, I'm just being nervous, man. Okay, well, you're on probation for the same thing, right? Yes. How long you been out of jail? 31. Six months? All right. Roll over on your back for me. Bring your knees to your chest. All right, sit right there, all right? Yes, sir. How much meth did you take? One hit, two hits, what? A couple bowls. How often do you do that? A couple times a day? Yeah, I'm sure I smoke all day, man. Hmm? I smoke, I smoke a lot. You smoke a lot? Come on. Bring your knees to your chest. There you go. All South Three Records, 15 at a record call to 485 Pickering. All South Three Records. I'll get him out, cuff him up. He takes off. Didn't have a car to put him in at the time, so. Will you mind transporting for me? Yeah. Sure. Put your right foot in. Yeah. I'm going to go through his truck real fast and okay. see what else is in there. Sounds good. <sighs> Uh, found a meth pipe. Uh, he's saying there's a, some other meth in the car, but so far just the meth pipe, so. He's acting kind of strange, so I'm figuring there's probably a little bit more. He's had some meth in his pocket. He admitted he had meth in the vehicle. Apparently when he took off running, he either took it out of his pocket while he's laying on his stomach, so. Found it over here in the grass. Methamphetamines, pretty common out here on the east side of the county. I'm sure he ditched it while he took off running or while he was on his stomach rolling around. All right, we're gonna try to catch up to a car right now. It's uh, been taking a odd route. It's been going in a square, not having any particular destination, and they've got a cracked windshield, so we're gonna catch up to it and get it stopped. 106.45, Pawnee and Southeast Boulevard. Traffic. Traffic stop on a green Mazda. Vehicle's doing some suspicious driving. So we're gonna see what they're doing tonight. Good evening, how you doing? Can you step out of the car for me, please? Step back here, keep your hands up, though. Yes, sir. The reason I stopped you tonight is your windshield's cracked. Oh, uh, windshield? Yeah. You got your ID on you? No, I sure don't. Why not? I just, I left it at the house. I'm okay. just going to the lost sock right here. You going to the lost sock? Yes, sir. Okay. Wash some clothes. What's your first name? Gilbert. What's your birthday? 1979. What's your social? Uh, it's up in my head. I can't remember it, really. Why do you not remember your social? I just, how old are you? I am actually 30. How old are 36. you? 36. 36. Okay, your driver's license or ID, is it through Kansas or Texas? No, Texas. It's through Texas? Okay, 679 is your birthday? Yes, sir. 679? Yes, sir. Gilbert? Yes, sir. I'm gonna give you one last opportunity to tell me your name. That is Originally, fine. you gave me a birthday to 9 of 79. I just asked you if your birthday was 10. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I, you know, I'm sorry. Okay, so now uh, you can't hear? No, I just, because, I mean, the lights are on my uh, face and everything like that. House. That's the only reason First why. Name? I don't believe you. He's making up a story. I'm not making up a story. Can I get one of my cigarettes out? Where are you coming from? Hilltop area? Where at in Hilltop? Uh, well, I came from his house. Whose house? His. What's his name? I just know him right. No, what's his name? His real name? Yes. I don't know his real name. He's known by Sleepy. You know him by Sleepy? Yeah. And he's yeah. never said any other I mean, name? I just always call him Sleepy, you know what I'm saying? I mean. If he said his real name, I'd probably remember it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't know. Like, he, if I gave you a real name, if I gave you a name, would you recognize it? Yeah. Is it Gilbert? It seems about right. It seems about right. Can you take your right finger, your index finger, place it right on here. Just hold it just like that. Okay. What does that mean? Just taking your fingerprints. Fingerprints? I cannot find you in any system. I try to run your name through Texas, and I can't find anything. I you mean, have any tattoos, man? No, no, no tattoos? No. 
This individual's given us a name. Uh, he's been inconsistent with his birth year and date. We have an ID scanner that I'll be able to plug in and see if we're able to positively identify him. He's given us some Texas information, some which time information, so it's been back and forth. There we go. He's got multiple cases here where he's used his uh, brother's information before in a case. So consistent with some of the stuff he's, he's trying to do today. So we're going to look and see if we can find a uh, former mugshot of this guy and see if we can verify that this is him. And that would be him. So he's given us false information. He's revoked, arrested for auto theft, Berg, unlawful possession of marijuana, unlawful possession of meth. He's got three active warrants, and he's definitely going to be going for obstruct today. Hey, Turn around, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. What? You have a warrant. Huh? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. But what? That's you have not a warrant. Even, Turn that's around. Not, that's not even me. That's not any warrants, man. That's not even me, though. Officer. Abram, the, the gig's up, man. Fingerprints don't lie. That's not my... Uh, fingerprints don't lie. That's... I don't know. That's what? Huh? What'd you say? What's what? We said something as soon as I pulled that out. No, no, I'm saying that that's that's all I have right there. The the crystals? That's not crystals. <laughs> You're pretty hard to believe at this point, man. It's not crystals. They came out of your left pocket. You go ahead and hop out from there. Man, I appreciate your cooperation. Same. Okay. You got a couple citations you want. That's it. Okay. Turn around, put your hands around your back. You knew it was math. I haven't even tried it, so that's... You haven't smoked it yet? I haven't even tried it at all. Man. How do you normally do it? Do you smoke it or you shoot it? I don't know. I just eat it. <laughs> eat it? Oh, dude. All right. You know it's illegal to have meth in the state of Kansas? Unfortunately, I did. I, I've given your situation and what you said your warrants for. I'm assuming you did, but... Yeah, but that's all I got to say, so... All right, man. That's fine. You don't mind having a seat for me, OK? I'll make sure we get your phone, and we'll hold off till, till your woman gets here to get the uh, car taken care of, all right? Thank you. All right. You situate in there? Yeah. All right, watch your legs. All you're going to jail tonight for is it's the warrants. That's it. Okay. I, don't, I don't even know what they're for. When we get down there, we'll take a look at them. Okay. They may or may not even have a bond. I've seen some citation warrants without a bond. Okay. So all you do is get a court date, and then you back out. Do you know exactly what the citations are for? Or? No. No, you don't? No. Okay. They don't. They don't tell us that over the radio. Okay. So once we get down there, we'll take a look at them and let you know. All right. No, cool. All do you right. have any other questions to me? Nope. All right. I'll let you take a seat in there, and then we'll get out of here. Okay. Hey. Cool. Best of luck to you, to you and those kiddos. All right, man. I appreciate it. So tonight, the driver's going to jail for the cracked windshield and the driver's license violation, yes. interference with law enforcement officer, Correct. and possession of meth. That's it. And his warrants. Yep. And then the passenger will be going to jail for his two warrants. And he did tell me that his name was Abram. He has admitted that now. So finally, not Gilbert. Not Gilbert. He's no longer Gilbert. He is now Well, Abram. his alias is Gilbert. Yeah. This vehicle in front of me, um, it's got a temporary tag. It's not displayed properly. It's kind of flapping around the, in the wind. So we're going to see what's going on with it. What up, man? How are you? Hey, you got your license with you? Your, your, um, your, your plate is flapping everywhere, man. You can't oh, read it. God. You got to button that thing down. Mom's car, buddy. That's all right. Hop out, man. It's the car. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Bro, don't do that. Don't do anything stupid, right? Come on, man. I wasn't slick at all. Put him in the car. That's great. I'm good. Just watch it. I want to find the phone. How about, bro? Change my back. Yeah, I got it. This is my mama's car. All right, we're gonna walk back here, right? I'm not arrested, right? No, you just be detained right now, bro. Right? I am detained. Okay, just right here. Hey, can you hang out with this guy? I ain't going nowhere. Anybody else in the car? We're good, buddy. No. no. I know we're good, man, but I, I can't put you in my car right now. The passenger has dropped a clear plastic baggie on the floorboard. It's a. Uh, a little crack rock, and then this one actually fell from his hands. 
It's a white rock. It looks like crystal meth to me. So we took him out and secured him real quick. Was that on him? Yeah. What was it? Marijuana. Marijuana on him? Yeah. Or was that in his pocket? Yeah. He admitted to it before what pocket? I even checked him. Oh, the left front. Hey, how's that? How's that? How's that? Hey. Yeah, dude, he was super skittish, man. He was in the front seat. You can see him shaking and stuff. Yeah. And then he had his fist balled up, and he could see the stuff on the floorboard, so. Yeah. Not very slick. Yeah. All right, what's your name? Zach and Ryan. Oh, I think I dealt with you before, right? Over here. With your long, buddy. He was here a long time yeah. ago, huh? Yeah, your buddy got arrested for meth. Yeah, that one guy. All right, your license is good, right? As far as you know? Well, I've been, I was in prison in Memphis. I did eight years in Memphis. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, I have my license. Okay. Right, I went on a date, sir. That's what I was doing. You're what? I, I went on a date. I was on a date. Right now? Well, yeah, my food's still warm. I come back Where to you go, date. Super Tacos? Uh, what's that place over? Uh, my, my, my date picked it. All right, I'm going to come back and talk to you in a second, all right? I'm just going to gather some stuff up, and I'll make sure those drugs ain't going anywhere. Yeah, yeah please, down his mama's car. I'll come back to talk to you, okay? Yeah, I didn't know you had a mama's car. I got your anyways. Last time I got arrested, I had a whole police car over there. He's got a warrant. The driver's got a warrant huh. for batteries. No, no, I got a warrant. You got a warrant, man. What's, what's it for? You got a uh, warrant for battery. Go ahead. No valid actual driver's license. Can you do me a favor, sir? What? Right, this is my mama's car. So well, listen, old. man, let me let me finish up what I got to do. I'm I got to run all this stuff, time. make sure you got a license and stuff. And I got to talk to your homeboy, and I'll come back and talk to you. Please tell me I'm not trying to like five. No, I got you. Hey, Nick, Nicholas, we found some crack and, and meth and stuff where you were sitting. None of that was um, mine. In, in plain view, basically. And you had that prescription uh, bottle in your hands, balled up. Is that what you're trying to hide as well? But yeah, so it was in the Yeah, is, are those, is that your medication? Uh, those are muscle relaxers. They're what? Muscle relaxers. Oh, okay. Are they yours? Yeah, yes. Obviously, <laughs> there was a reason I pulled you out of the car so quick. Yeah. But so, so the crack and the crack and the meth and all that good uh, stuff's not yours. No, sir. No. You, I, you can look at my record. I mean, yeah. I think I did not was it his? Was it the guy driving? Yeah, he like, he it. threw it to you and he's like, yo, hold this for me or what? Like, go in the glove box, take it out. And... So it was in the glove box? Yep. And he took it out? What were we going to do with it? I had no idea. Honestly, I was so nervous. and. Are you on anything right now, man? I just smoked. That's it. Just smoked a little bit of weed. Yeah, so the, the only thing in that car that belongs to you is the marijuana. That was in your pocket. All right. Are you on paper right now? Yeah. No. All right, man. I appreciate your honesty. All right, Zach. All right, man. I know. I know anything about that. So like I'm trying to tell you is I need you to. Uh, you know anything about what? Whatever it is in your pocket. I don't think about that. They would you pull you out. Like I seen you pull some out. So. Right yeah. Here. Um. I need. I need. Uh, you deal with my mama? Please, hmm? don't, please don't take my mama's car. It's something she's gonna ask. They're severely all certain they're lying. All right, well, let me, let's get to that when we get to that, man. I want to, I want to talk about what's in the car. All right. all right, we found some crack, we found some meth, stuff like that. I don't want to think about that. All right, who's this guy in the passenger seat? That's my buddy. We were, uh, American Legion. Oh, well, you know him. A year. All right, for tonight, I'll you're, you're gonna take the ride, all right? I understand, man. You got no license and you got a warrant for your arrest. No, I understand that, sir. I just want to let her know. So yeah, I'll call. Take a seat, though, right? Car, sir. Take a seat. How you doing? I know you. Hi. Hey, step out for me. Just drop your stuff. What are you shaking for? Well, I wasn't going to jail. I didn't say you're going to jail. I'm just detaining you right now. All right, step back here. Your license good or no? How many times suspended? Once. Just once? Whose car is this? Uh, her roommate's. Crystal meth in his pocket. Any more in the car? No? That's it. That was Is there it. any way we can work this out? I can talk to you. Is it a habit or are you selling it? No, it's just a habit. All right. How much a day? Just about that. Just about that? That'll do you the whole day? All right. Is anybody else in the car going to be holding any? No? All right. Sit back. I'll come back and talk to you in a minute. Anything on your person? No. That you shouldn't have? No. No? No bra. Okay. Well, it's not illegal to have one of those. So you have no idea. I'm being detained? Yes. Yeah. You know the driver? Yeah, I know who he is. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Ryan. OK. Well, he doesn't have an active uh, driver's license right now. OK. Sit so back here for a second. Just check this up down there. 
All right, so you smoke? I used to, a week That's ago. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, a yeah, week ago, yeah. So a week ago, you would smoke, yeah, smoke yeah. what? Meth. Okay, so if there's anything illegal in there, I want you to be up front with me right now okay. to tell me if there's something within arm's reach or where you're sitting there, that is illegal. There's something in, in the seat that's illegal. It's not mine. That's like fine. I said, be up front with me. Is mine. Okay. I, I think it's just some kind of allergy pills or something. Okay. I don't know. That's fine. The green pills are going to pop out. That's like fine. I said, uh, that's all I know about. Okay. Swing your feet in there. Hey, Chase. Stay right there. Put them together like a crane. You got anything active? No. Any warrants or anything like that? No. So we'll, the problem we're running into now is inside the car is a safe. Step back from it. What I'm trying to figure out is whose safe it is. It's her safe. That's why it's sitting next to her. She brought it into the car? Yes, sir. Well, you're being detained right now because there's narcotics inside the car. Oh, uh, uh. So to distance yourself from whatever's going to be within arm's reach of you, you need to tell me now before I find it. No, I don't. I like. I. There shouldn't be nothing in there. Right okay. Good enough. Step back, All right. So now I'm gonna work on getting this safe. Grinder. Some weed. Another scale. From everything in here, it looks like Narcan like they're probably using and selling. Some Kratom, the old Whitehorn edition. Some weed. Looks like Coke. Needles. Anything on that side? Well, Jay, I think by that water bottle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> where the belt buckle is. Yeah. I'm thinking that's where she was like, Shoving stuff? stuff that, yeah. She said there's only pills and they're Oxycontin, apparently. That's what she was trying to hide and it matches the same kind of pills that she had crushed up on her lap that she dropped as she got out of the car. Um, so right, the, the green pills are Oxycontin. They were the same color yeah, and everything, the pills that fell out of her lap. Uh, Someone's got a little piece of the wrist there. Yeah, that's uh, what she was talking about was, you know, I saw that falling off her uh, lap. There's another yeah. piece down there. I'm going to have to uh, pull him out. Okay. Brian, step out for me. All right, so listen, we found other stuff inside the car. There's pills behind you. There's grinders, Narcan, needles, stuff like that. Is any of that stuff yours? Just what was on you? OK. No reason that safe's going to have your fingerprints on it? No. On the inside or outside? No. OK. You're going to have a seat in there. All right, Caitlin, right? OK, so you had the crushed up pills in your lap that matched the pills in the front pocket. Also, the key that you had on you yeah. fits that safe. OK, inside that safe is cutting agent, needles, I don't... marijuana. OK, I smoke there's, weed. OK, yeah. just let me slow down. We're going to talk through all this. I'm telling you what's found, what you're what, going to be charged with, OK? So possession of prescription without prescription, basically a controlled substance without prescription. Um, possession of paraphernalia, which are the needles. OK, the scales, the baggies, um, the THC gummies, the marijuana, all those are inside that safe that you controlled with that key. So essentially, everything in that safe is yours, everything in your lap, and everything in that pocket in front of you is yours. So right now, we have probably about eight or nine felony possession charges.